<clears throat> now this question I couldn't do yesterday so I told you that I'll uh, work this out so let's see how to write the equation of this exponential graph so first and foremost you should uh, decide okay the formula that uh, you already know is y is equal to a raised to x minus h plus k now k you can you have to determine visually by looking at the graph so if an exponential graph is approaching this graph seems to be approaching 2 okay so here we can directly say k should be 2 because when k when x is 0 y is 4 when x is 4 it is 2.125 so this this is say 1 this is 1 this is 2 so this seems to be approaching 2 so this is a visual decision you need to make okay so well we can say the equation now becomes y is equal to a raised to x minus h plus 2 okay so now one more thing before I explain any further uh, let me go up okay so yeah because this is a decay curve the a by just looking at the graph you should understand should be between 0 and 1 between 0 and 1 that's one decision you need to make by just looking at the graph and second decision we made is as this graph is approaching 2 you can write k as 2. So now we have to figure out what is a and what is h. So let's put when x is 0, y is 4. So I'll say 4 is equal to a to the power 0 take away h is going to be negative h plus 2. Now if you take away 2 from both sides, I can say a to the power negative h is equal to 2 to the power 1. So if you compare this equation and write a as 2 and negative h as 1, it doesn't make sense because we already know that a has to be between 0 and 1. So there's something missing, yeah? So at this stage, you can't make that call that a is 2 and negative h is 1. So h is negative 1. So for that, we have to put this point again. So when x is 4, y is 2.125. So again, we're going to put this point in this equation. So I'm going to write here, when x is 4, y is 2.125. I can say 2.125 is equal to a to the power, uh, x is 4, so I can say 4 minus h plus 2. Same process, I'm going to take away 2 from both sides, so a to the power, 4 minus h is equal to 2. You can pause this video and try to figure, understand these two steps. Okay, now is a next step is something that I'll have to explain first and then I'll write the next step. So in when you are when you're learning rules of indices, you may have learned say 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 4 is same as 2 to the power 3 plus 4 okay so using this rule basically backwards if someone wrote this from this can you write this actually basically you're going to look at the step in the reverse order so this i'm going to let us let us scroll this up slightly okay so yeah i'm going to say this the next step is a to the power 4 times a to the power negative h is 2. Now this is a difficult step for many of you. So pause again and understand this step. So if you look backwards, you can see the rule of indices. So this is what I said if it is 2 to the power, say 3 plus 4 means this is 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 4. Okay, so let's call this equation 2 and let's say this is equation 1. 
Now I'm going to divide equation 2 by 1. So I'm going to write equation 2 divided by equation 1. So I'm going to divide the left hand side so I can say well a to the power of 4 times a to the power of negative h divided by a to the power of negative h is equal to okay I've done a mistake here good to stop here so hopefully you've seen my mistake this should not be 2 this should be you're taking away 2 from both sides so that is 0 0.125 0 0.125 so this is 0 0.125 divided by 2. So basically what I've done is I've divided this, I've divided this by this. So I had to divide in the same order, I had to divide this by this, which is 2. So now is an interesting step. So a to the power h and a to the power h will get cancelled. So what is remaining is, now a to the power 4 is 0.0625. So let me show this on the calculator. So go to the run menu and then 0.125 divided by 2 equals 0.0625. And if you press this fraction key, that will give you 1 16th. So this now, so I can say again, a to the power of 4 is 1 over 16. Well, 1 16th can be written, so I'm going to write now, this is a to the power of 4 is 1 16th the same as 1 half raised to 4. Okay, so let me show you that. So you can go 1 divided by 16 raised to 4 is, oh sorry, 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2 raised to 4 equals 0 0.0625. So now comparing this side with this side, I can say A should be half. So this implies A is equal to half. Okay, I would like you to find a. now h yourself. I want, I would like to uh, rub this off and come back. So we figured out, we started here, and we figured out by visually we decided k is 2. And using a bit of algebra, we figured out a is half or 0 0.5. So let's put these two values back in this equation. And now we need to figure out h. So I can say y is equal to half or 0 0.5 raised to x minus h plus 2. So again, we can put this point in this equation. I can say, well, uh, 4 is equal to 0 0.5 or half raised to negative h plus 2. Okay, so taking away 2 from both sides, I can say 2 is equal to half raised to negative h. Okay, so now is a tricky side. Again, this is in 2. You can't change this, but this half can be written. So let me again explain this a bit of algebra or numbers. Half is same as 2 to the power of negative 1. Or 0 0.5 is 2 to the power of negative 1. So let me show you that. So if you go 2 raised to negative 1 is 0 0.5, which is half. So I'm going to write this as 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of negative 1 raised to negative h. So now you can say, well, 2 to the power of 1 and negative, you've got power of power. You have to multiply the power. So this is 2 to the power h. So this means h should be 1. So the final equation, I'll write with glee, green color, y is equal to 2 raised to x 
take away 1 plus 2. Okay, now the main thing is to check whether this equation models this graph. Okay, and that's what we are all trying to learn. Now, if this equation is right, let me scroll this up slightly so that you can see the equation. These two points have to be on the graph. So, let's go to graph and type in the equation. So, it is, uh, you can also say 0 0.5 raised to x take away 1 plus 2. Okay, so yeah, so let's scroll this up slightly. So this is the graph. So this is the y-intercept. So you go G solve and press F4. That is 0, 4. And when x is 4, y should be 2.125. So you again go G solve, press F6, and then press F1. And they're asking you what's the x value. x value is 4. Enter. When x is 4, y is 2.125. So the equation is perfectly right.